Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I the Crafter, and welcome to part four of um, the Envelope Journal inspired by Darcy Sanders. All of the other video links are in the box description box below, along with any other relevant links to products or whatever, whatever I need to share with you. Okay, right, let's get on with this. So this is kind of where we left off yesterday. For, it was for me for yesterday, it was for you a few days ago, we decided that was actually going to be the top on the front of the journal. There have been changes. Um, when I was editing the video, um, I heard myself saying the reason I was choosing this one was because you, the subscribers, would like to like it to be this one. Well, actually, you know what? This journal is for me and I've changed my mind. I'm going to use the crow because I like the crow better. Um, I've also, I was going to do um, a closure here with a bit of sari silk going all the way around and a key that drops through. And I thought, you know what, that's just not working for me. I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to have it because it's quite substantial. I don't think it's going to get that damaged. So I'm just going to leave it as is. But I did find a piece of this sort of stuff. It's really tough. Um, not sure it was made of, probably nylon or something. Um, someone gave me a roll of it a while back and I've not used it for anything, but I really like the drama. So I've already partially done the topper, but I can't stick it on until I've, after I finish filming or I'm going to be dealing with something wet. But this is what it's going to look like. Okay, and I really, really love the drama of that. So once I finish filming, I'm going to glue this down with um, glue and then I'm going to come in here with matte medium to actually get that stuck down as well. But if I put it on now, I'm never going to be able to work in the journal. So um, another thing I've did too, the reason I didn't use it before was here, I think something said Black Widow. So what I did is I took a square or a rectangle of the papers that were left over attached a bit of this tissue which I think is from Rhonda Donar and put it in there and I quite like that that tied everything through here to the color scheme and some of the color scheme in the envelopes there so this will get put on later you'll see it in the thumbnail guys um, but you won't see me attach it because I'm not going to waste that time doing that here Ooh, see part of that bird is coming up just I don't want that falling off um so yeah, so forgive me for that, but the trouble is that tomorrow morning I'm going to be travelling. I'm, I'm gone for two and a half weeks. I'm not going to be able to do so. Everything has to be filmed today and I've got two hours to make this video. So I'm going to aim for an hour's video, obviously. I don't want to give you two hours worth of watching. Um, so we're going to jump ahead on quite a few things. Okay, I did make a decision. Um, once I saw the thickness of this um, envelope journal, I did decide to come in and put coffee dye paper on the back of all of the journal cards because I thought it's not, not that much. And then what I did is I took all of the scraps that I had left over and I made myself some tags or tabs, should I call them. Um, I don't have a punch. I used this set of dies which i found a couple of years ago i'm almost certain i found this on ebay um i came across it i found it quite useful because i couldn't find a whale tail punch and to be honest this was a lot less expensive than a whale tail punch so we're going to work our way through and we're going to put tabs on all of all of these pieces now okay so that's my next job and i'm just going to do my best to kind of match but not worry if they're not matched like, I don't mind there being a little itsy-bitsy one on there. So just basically folding it over. Bit of art glitter glue. See, I don't know what it is about this journal make, but it appears to have made me incredibly indecisive. I keep deciding one thing and then five minutes later I've changed my mind and I've turned it into something else. So which is a bit frustrating, but there you go. Right, so that one's got a tab, which is good because I don't want to damage the envelopes pulling them in and out. As you can see, that's done. Right, this one definitely needed one. And I quite liked that as the top. And I'm thinking I'd quite like something like this, not that sort, but this sort, the one with a bit of shimmer to it. Now, also look at the journal tags as I'm doing this, because I think it's very unlikely I'm going to decorate the journal um, 
the journal cards. And, and the reason for that is I'm going to use the time wisely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the journal pages where those patches of there you go. Where those patches of coffee dyed paper are, I'm going to enhance those. So that's that one done. Now, not all of these are going to have tabs on them. Remember, only the ones that can have them, like that one, can have a tab. Is there an up or a down? No, I guess that's an up. Right. This only needs a little one. I quite like it to be a slightly robust one, though. Let's put that one on there. Some of these are card stock, some of these are paper stock. Um, I do have quite a big box of these. And what I do is when I'm working on clearing out scraps, I will very often spend half an hour and turn scraps into these sort of tabs. So straight. Kind of maybe not. I'll move your way up. Yep, I can live with that. Right, so at this point, I'm going to pause you in the aim of saving time. I'm going to go through and put all of the tabs in on all of the journal cards that need them. And then I'm going to turn you back on and we'll get to work on decorating. See you in two seconds, guys. So that's all the tabs in. You'll see the journal cards actually when I do the final flip through thinking about it. So tabs on that one. Didn't put one on there because it's a tag anyway. This is the back, obviously. Um, small tab there. Didn't put a tag on this one because it's a journal tag and a tab. Blah, blah, blah. Speak again, Griffiths tag. That slipped in there. It'll just make things easier to pull in and out of the pockets, likely to do less damage. Just a little one on that one because I didn't want it to bump into anything down there. So, happy with that. And this one, again, it just makes it easier to pull stuff in and out so you're not tearing at the pocket each time. So, I think I did that one with you. That one, I can't remember that I did that one with you. See, I had to put a really little one there because I'm conscious of the gap there. I could put a bigger one on this one because of the gap there. This one didn't need it because there is no room for a tab. So, right, where am I up to? I released a printable with PM Artist Studio in April. It was my first one for them. Um, it's exclusively for them, so it's not going to be anywhere else. It's 11 sheets, and what it is is... I've made up 100 definitions, but they're def definitions of my own making. And I did 100 of them on a coffee colored type background, just in case you don't have coffee dye paper. I also put in some spare words here, just in case they're the sort of things you want to use. Like I tried to use words that we would use in our day-to-day -day life in our studio. I then repeated the 100 words and I did them on white. So you can print this onto any color background, which is exactly what I did here. I printed them on some craft paper backgrounds. So you've got them in any color you want. Again, I filled them up with a few other words here that are not the same as the other words. I then went to a different size font and gave you the hundred one more time in bigger. So, I mean, I, I made these up. So Definition of a winner, the person reflected in the mirror. Dance, with your heart, sing with your whole soul. Greatness, unnoticed in yourself, often recognised by others. They're just things that I came up, so they're unique to me, and they're there. Um, and I will put a link to this in each of the videos. So, enough of that. Now, let's just pull in one box and start with that. Okay, well, I need to make more of these. Um, these are my paper butterflies and uh, yes there is a video and actually yes I will put that link to that video in here right is there anything with that color red in it probably not but there is purple let's pull in a couple of the purple ones and I'm going to try and not keep repeating repeating stuff so I'm going to come in and I think as those are quite large butterflies let's see what I've got that's got See, something like that would just be really cute. 
let's just do it. I need to get a pen. Those who know me know that I actually draw the antennae in on butterflies. So I'm just going to put this out because I'm trying to maintain this. I really like that piece of artwork in there. I wish I knew who did it. I can't remember. Um, if it was you, please lay claim to it in, in the description box, uh, in the comments, because I'm sure, absolutely certain, it came in a Happy Mail share or it came in a swap share or something like that. And I am hideously bad at remembering names, as anyone who knows me will attest to. So, now, I am, as you've heard me say, I'm not going to be overly decorative on the pages because it will be more about the quote than the pages. Right, just try to link those together. They're not supposed to be a mirror of each other. However, I do want them to complement each other. Lid on that. Let's get the old antennae drawing in. Not sure how it's going to draw on a painted surface. Oh, it did okay. So there you go. So that's my first one done. It could there could be more on that eventually. Like when I write the quote in there, maybe I go, oh, depending on what that's about, maybe there'll be something else. Right. So shut that on that. Let's pull it and see what have we got here. I've got some washi stickers, not washi stickers, washi labels. Now these labels were created by me, and all I did was when I have scraps of um not washi, uh, Stamperia rice paper. I stamp a frame onto them and I use them in that way. So the thing is that they can just go and in, actually I quite like that there. That's where that's going. That was not, not my intent, but there you go. So as you can see, they're just little accent pieces. It helps me use up scraps and that's, I mean, Stamperia rice paper is not the cheapest on the planet, but there's a reason for that. It's absolutely beautiful. And if I'm going to spend that money, I'm going to get the most out of it I can. Right, I'm going to put my definitions in after I've done this, but I do feel that may need something else. I'm wondering whether I need a number or something. You're familiar with my stamp numbers. These are just numbers that I've stamped onto the edges of book pages and things like that. They mean nothing to nobody except me. So I'm just going to ink the edge of this just a touch just to give it a bit of character. That's enough on there. See, I think once I settled with the fact that this envelope journal was pretty much an eclectic mix and a celebration of colour for me, then it sort of happened. I was like, I was a bit, as you heard me say in the last video, I just couldn't get my head around this. I'm just having a little look in here to see what else is in what's on paper. Get off my fingers here. I've got bluey fingers. There's nothing in there rocking my world. These are just, again, I've used, I want to say it was a Tim Holtz frame stamp. Oh, that's quite cute. And I've gone through and just stamped parts of book pages. That's got the colours that are in here, isn't it? Actually, I just like those two. Right, let's just find a slot somewhere in here where they will just feel all comfortable and enhanced. Let's look at this page, right? That can do with something bigger. Right, this has got blue purples on it. This has got greens on it. Actually, that's a nice place for that, isn't it? Do I need to do the edge of that? Let's have a little workstation over here. So I'm only doing the edges of this because it's got a white core and I didn't want the white to be showing. The white core, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, is actually the layer of paper between the front and the back, the inside. Um, oh, someone did ask me, by the way, what was a digital? A digital is a downloadable product that you can buy, which are usually papers or labels or stuff like that. Um, you will find that once you've purchased it, you can use it as long as you're using it within um, 
the defined uses by the person who's created it due to copyright laws. Um, you will find a lot of artists do use digitals. A lot of um, content creators create digitals and have digitals for sale. They can become very addictive and you will end up buying and buying and buying them. I tend to not use a huge amount of digitals, but I do use them occasionally. Right, so we've got flowers on there. Let's see what's next on my list. Ooh, postage stamps. I wanted the postage stamps. Right, postage stamps, these are ones that I've actually made. So there's a couple of videos, and yes, I will link those videos as well. Um, just because I really quite like as a crow. I've got a crow on the cover. I've got a crow in the book as well. Oh, there are fish in here. Pity it's not what I want. Oh, there's a dragonfly as well. Yes, let's, let's pull those four out and find them a new home. So I'm just going to catch the edges of these because these were made with a die and the die wasn't exactly the same size as the image that I was trying to put on them, so. Now this mushroom's obviously going to go on my page. It's got some yellow on it. And actually, that might be the very page. I quite like that. Let's stick that on there. Now, just because I've put this on there doesn't mean it's the only thing. I just quite like that square there. Well, that patch without anything in it. And I would quite like a number on that one. Let's see, grab this number. That will link them together. So my priority is to leave this space predominantly empty for writing of the quotes. However, I'd want this to also be decorative as well. So I'm finding it struggle trying to see at the same time. Right, so you're on there. Right, this has got some reds on it. Let's go back to this one. Oops, not that blue over Griffiths. I don't mind that up there. And then I think this one will be done. Because as you just heard me say, I'm decorating them. I don't want it to be dominated by the decoration, however. I'll stick down. So, finish my first page. Yay! Right, I've got this one that's got the crow on it. Now, I had an idea all the way into here. Right here is where I'm going to sign and date it and I think it'd be quite a nice nod to the cover if I put the crow in there because I'm the one who chose the crow for the cover so I think that's where that's going to go. And those who have ever seen one of my um, studio tours, I do one every year so don't, don't worry if you've missed one you'll see it. I do have a drawer full of crows and I'm not going to explain that any further than that. Right. Seems a bit small for there. It's funny, I'll know it when I see it. Which I'm sure you're all fully aware of that scenario. And that's it there. Can you see that? No, you can't see that there. It go by there. So just put this on there so I can glue. This glue stick is really chewy, let's put it that way. It's like, it's very gel-like today. No idea why that is. It's just causing me a problem because it's like trying to spread chewing gum. Actually, I think I'm going to do the gluing over here, guys, because otherwise I can't keep this in your... In your sight, right? We've got stamps down there. Right. Mammals. I've got some mammals in here. 
Now, we have laughed about this bat, and I think the bat's going to join us because it's been part of this journey. Now, unfortunately, Darcy, I don't have a squirrel because I've already used the squirrel. So let's pull out some animals, sir. It's another bat. The hedgehog. I love hedgehogs. Now, that's not going to work. Don't need a mole. There's a baby hedgehog. There's a bear. <laughs> it's like I'm telling children, this children is a bear, spelled B-E-A-R. I don't feel a bear is going to work. An otter is fun. I like an otter. Frog. Got a frog. A goat. I'm a Capricorn. Let's put that out there. Darcy had a raccoon on hers. There you go. Darcy, we're going to put a raccoon on here. So let's do a really quick whip around the edges with some of these and then we'll find them at home. Again, I'm just doing the edges so that any lackadaisical fussy cutting on my behalf will get covered up. Because sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I am not the best at fussy cutting. And I'm, I'm one of these people, I want to get it right to the edge of the image I'm cutting. I know some people leave a little border. I just can't do that because unless the border is absolutely perfect all the way around, I just can't leave it. It's, it's weird. It's me. Right. Now, we did jokingly say it could go here at one point, didn't we? Takes up quite a bit of that, though, doesn't it? Actually, I can move this over as you can see. Right, I know you squished down right in the corner, but I quite like that there because it's got pink in its arms, which will pull in the pink of this. So I think that's where that little one's going to live. If I can get glue on to it without ripping any of its appendages off. Right, so I just wanted I like that because it covers the edge of there. I hope to goodness you can see. It covers part of oh let's just move this over a bit. It covers that there, and also his face is contrasted. Where's my little spready tool? Where's my little spready tool from? There you go. As I said, you'll you'll see a lot more guys once. Once I do the flip through, is that lifting? Why does that look like it's lifting? Ever so slightly. The wings were nearly away with me. Right, that's okay, right. Let's pull this, I've got a feeling I'll know where I want to put this one. It's talking to me, let's put it this way. I think this would be a sweet little place to put this otter because that still leaves me quite an expanse to write upon. I can almost definitely say though, and Darcy knows I love her, that I'm not sure I will ever make one of these again in my life. <laughs> it's, it's been a challenge and I I've, I've, feel I've overcome it. However, do I want to do another one? I don't think I do. Right, I've got a feeling this pocket here, can you see me, is where Mr. Raccoon needs to be. And I quite like Mr. Raccoon there, as if he's peeping out at you. So whenever you turn the pages of this, you will come across unexpected things in unexpected places. I think that adds to the charm of this, because I don't really know. Well, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to complete this one for a start, but... Right, now he's got a nice bit of brown in him. Now if I put him as if he's standing on the very bottom, I'm okay with that. I must admit that there has been a point in this journal make where I was very much considering just putting it in a padded envelope as it was and sending it to Darcy and going, Darcy, you just finish this off for me, will you? But what would be the joy and the challenge in that if I just ducked out of it? So, right, so let's just close the bits up again. 
just so I can make sure I know where I am on things. Right. Yeah, I keep forgetting all of this lot, that's why. Right, let's pull in some birds. I like birds. Right. Green. Now, I know I've got green in here, so let's keep him out. Okay. Robin was my mother's favourite bird. That can go in here. Is that an eagle? It's a raptor. I don't know whether it's an eagle. Though. Oh, I know I've got owls in here somewhere as well. And I want owls in here. Oh, it's a British sparrow. Let's put that in there. Oh, I can see the owls. Now, I want to choose the owls because the owls are big. I've got large owls. These came out of a wildlife book. Oh, he's pretty. Now, some of that colour's here. I think that will do for the birds for the moment. There's, there's a few birds. Oh, it's a pink. That's a bit tropical, isn't it, for this? Right. Have I, oh, there's another crow. Let's take him out as well. It was a little owl. I don't know whether it is actually called a little owl or not. Let's not do any more birds. We can always revisit the bird pile if we find we've run out of run out of things to put places. Right, I'm looking at that thinking I quite like that there. Quite like it there, but I'd like something joining him behind him. Right, there's some Tracy Fox labels here. Let's see if I've got something in here that will just tie this together. Notes and endorsements. There you go. Let's put that on there. just want something to tie the things together because if I tie them together then they become one piece of decoration instead of several pieces of decoration. Right, I'm not going to go around the edges of him. I quite like the fact he's almost um, got the camouflage thing going on with him there. So I need to tip it up and so see what angle he's at. That looks okay to me. Right. I don't want all the birds in the same places. This could do with something. I wonder. It's a little bit too big for that. I'm looking for a more up and down one. Maybe, maybe this eagle will give me what I'm looking for. Yes, I think the eagle could go there. Well, the raptor. I keep calling it an eagle. I don't know that it is an eagle. I've got a feeling it isn't an eagle. Right, I wanted a page that has got some green on it, which might be this one. I like it, but that's not right. I'm not liking this bit here. There's my scissors. It's causing me grief, people, and off it comes. Right. Also, I've got this white in bit in here. I am so not going to go in and cut that out. There you go. It's as if it was never there. Oh, sticky page. I'm, I'm putting it here, by the way, just in case you hadn't hadn't noticed what I was up to. Can you see that? You can see that. Right, and what I want to do is lift this up. Now this definitely feels 
like it needs something in there, like a label or something. I've lost the smoother thing again. I need this thing tied around my neck, I swear. Right. So we're on my way up to almost this, right? Mustn't forget there's a back page or two. So let's just close things up. Let's have a look at the back. I don't mind that because that sort of pulls that down there. Again, let's get rid of that little tiny bit between his delicate little legs. Get that on there. And he can come quite far over. Shall I put him by there? Yes, that'll work. Remember guys, this is just the first layer of decorating. Now, I'm not going to put a bird there because I've got a bird there, but I might come in here with something. Actually, if I put that there, it's as if you've completed the journey through the journal. Because you had one in the front, you've got one in the back, right. Don't ask me where my reasoning comes from. I just find that I have to have a reason to have things placed where they are. Right. Don't want another bird near that. I don't know that I'll put any birds in here. I've lost track of stuff. Where are you? There's too many twists and turns in here. There's a bird there. I want somewhere where... That might be quite nice, but there needs to be something there. It had blank labels somewhere. So I reckon if I put a label across there, maybe not that one. How about this one? Nope, not that one either. Just, it doesn't need to be something huge. Yeah, it's that. Straight ish. Let's get that robin on there. Now I think I want to put a bit of shading around the rock. And obviously a little bit between his little spindly legs. Try and do this without ripping a tail, a wing, a beak, a claw, or a boulder off. And I think I wanted it about there and having the label behind him really brings his um, self to the fore. I've lost that spreader again. I give up. It's on this desk somewhere. This desk isn't that big. How can I lose something like that? Right, we've got one more here, which is the British Sparrow. I'll find a place that isn't... Which I don't mind that. I seem to have gone a bit overboard with the birds, but I quite like birds. So. And if I put that almost to the edge of the page, actually, can I slide it across? I can. I'm going to have to amputate his beak if I do that. We're not doing that. Gail Gustinelli would never forgive me if I ripped the beak off a bird so after all the time i've given her a ribbing about cutting bits off other things so i've got some boxes of flowers and i've got some strips of washi and i've got some butterflies and i know i always seem to put butterflies into things but then you want so do you guys it's it is what we do right 
Um, let's quickly have a look at these. I'm not sure exactly what's in here. That would be interesting. I don't know what I've cut these from. I've obviously been cutting something in the past. Actually, I wonder whether this was... I think these might have come from the Flower Fairy book that I was working on for a while. Yeah, let's use those. I like those. I like the fact that they're quite realistic. Right, what hasn't got something is the best thing to start with. Yes, 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 no. Now, it doesn't mean that it's everything is finished that I'm saying yes to, but that looked lovely on there. And you didn't see any of that, did you? Hee <laughs> hee. Right, I'll bring it down in a second, guys. Just need to give this a little bit of attitude around the edges. Right, let's see if I can pull this down without dropping flowers all over the floor. It's going in here. If again I can get the glue on here without ripping pieces off. Ooh, I think I did it. Right, and I think that's just going to sit really nicely in there. And I found this again. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Uh, where are the other ones gone? Right. That might look nice there as well. So basically, I'm not really thinking. I'm just decorating by my gut, to be honest with you. Um, I'm pulling out ephemera, and if it feels right, down it goes. But then I think possibly a lot of that has come from, for me, it's no longer an envelope journal. It's just a journal, which makes it a lot easier for me to think about. Are you pulling up? You are pulling up. A little bit down there. Now, if anything does peel up, I can always come back in later with um, art glitter glue and stick it back down again. Though this seems to be causing me some problems. And that lump of glue didn't do me any favours either. Right, we'll be coming in with the art glitter glue if you don't stick down, mister. Right, so I've got a couple more of those to go. Let's see if I've got something small that this could go on. Actually, that'd be quite nice there. Trying to keep this in sort of a light place. And I'm just going to dirty that up a little bit. Just so that it sort of blends into the background. And we're going to put that there. And I think primarily my decision is there's a straight edge there, so I'm putting a straight edge up against it. And I've still got enough room to write something. And we have fuchsias in our garden and mum likes robins. So there you go. That's reason enough for me. Right. That doesn't feel right. To make sure things are not right. So that's done, that's done. That needs something, that needs something. That's done, that's done. Well, it's done to the point at, at the moment. That's done. That's kind of done. That needs a little... Oh, didn't I have something small? Don't know what I had for there. This is done-ish. I wonder whether that would just be enough. I think the pink and the orange is not working for me. I don't mind the pink and the green, though. Is there anything in the front half of this book that's lacking? That's fine, that's fine. This... Actually, that might be good there, because I've been struggling to find out what to put into that. And that may end up with a butterfly in it as well. 
just to do some sort of balance in there. Right, again, a bit of glue on here. Right. Put you there. And if I do put a butterfly, I'll put it there to balance that up. Right. So these are strips. I think there must be offcuts of something or other somewhere along the line. And I really quite like them. And I don't know where they came from. I mean, goodness knows where half the stuff come, comes from in the studio. Right, you're going to go in the bin. You're sticking to everything else. So, right, let's find a home for this piece that makes sense with something orange. I thought over here. I think down there would be lovely. Now, it is a washi label. So I should be able to get off his packing. And I'm also going to put um, glue onto it because I don't trust washi labels. I have been let down in the past. But you know what? They're not meant to be a permanent anyway. So I think if I just pop you down there, straight as we can get you. Yeah. I quite like these. These are nice and subtle. Let's see if I can add a few of them to these. That is something and that actually is calling to me because I like the like that in it. That can you see me? You can see me. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't know whether these were a, a gift with a purchase that I bought somewhere. I, I don't really know where these came from. But then, as I said, I don't know where half the stuff in my studio came from because I've been doing arts and crafts for years. So there's stuff in here that goodness knows where it's come from. This needs something. Ooh, there's something with purple in it. And I do that because it can still be written on, can't it? So I like it up there better. Well, I think we're almost to the point where I'm going to say we're done with sticking ephemera on stuff. We're um, sticking pieces on. We're probably more at the point where I want to start adding my definitions and maybe labels. Right, let's be a bit analytic. I like that. Does this need something? I think it might need something. A quick grab for stuff. What are the colours? Oranges and greens. I think that will go there. Right, this definitely needs to be calmed down a little bit. It's a little too bright. Right, so where am I at with the whole back panels? So that I think is done, bar any labels. That's done. That's done. That's that's done. That's got something on it, but it needs something here. Right, greens and pinks. I could just pull in. Let's do that. I could just pull in my box of butterflies, but if I start with a box of butterflies, we're never going to get finished. Right, this feels like it's on cardstock, so I'm going to have to put a bit of art glitter glue on this one. Pretty 
for a second. Place for a second. Where am I up to? Oh gosh, the time is flying, isn't it? My aim was to do an hour. I'm not sure whether we're going to get down to an hour. Right. This needed something as well. That just needs a little something. Much. I just remembered I've got that. So a little hedgehog in here somewhere. There's a baby one. Oh, a frog. Let's put a frog on there. Or a toad. I don't know my amphibians that well, so it could be a toad, could be a frog. I know it's not a newt. And he seems to go quite well with that colour scheme. Right, we know that needs a label, that's done, that's done. That probably needs something there. That's done, that's done. That could use something. I don't mind that. Can you see that? You can see that. That's a, that's a washy stamp this time. Right, that's done, that's done. This hasn't got anything on it. That looks quite nice, I don't mind that. And I don't mind that it covers the whole coffee dub coloured panel because there's still one there. Let's put that on there. Well, we're certainly doing some high-speed decorating here, I must admit. Right. It's funny because I was watching Mariah from PM Artist Studio yesterday. Um, she was assembling her envelope journal. Oh, it did make me smile. I was thinking, yeah, that's the stress I was under. Right, so that's done. That needs a label. That's done. That's done. That probably needs something done or what it is. That's done. So basically, that half is decorated. Right. Um, this hasn't got anything on it. What do I want there? I don't want to put any more butterflies because I'm always putting butterflies on things. Let's take that away. Is that the last thing I've got to do? No, that one's got to be done as well. And that one's got to be done. Right. Let's put that on there. I do feel if if I wasn't going away, I could do at least another two hour, two one hour videos on this journal. But then there comes a point at which it's like, you just need a project to be finished. That's done, that's done, that's done. That doesn't have anything either. Does it need a word? Have I got a word that could go on there? These are just Tim Holtz stamps and other stamps stamped onto. I think we'll just do that. Actually do that with is there something else in here other than a butterfly. Let's do that with that little butterfly stamp. Um, they're just stamped onto book pages, what I'm trying to say. So that's just a little bit of this around here. Not everything needs to have 
something on it. Hopefully those are straight because I can't see them. Right. So just need to get these two done now. I think we've done overkill on these washy things. And I'd quite like to pull in some of our previous some things. Let's pull in stamps and birds. Now let's have a little look at some of these stamps because I've been making new stamps and stamps with flowers on them. Right, so I'm looking at something almost orange. Sorry, can you see? You can't see, can you? Oh, it's another dragonfly. Actually, the dragonfly's got blue eyes. Let's, let's put the dragonfly up there, because we know I like a dragonfly. Yeah, it does go that way. Right, and I think that means we've got one more to go unless I've totally and utterly miscalculated. It wouldn't be the first time, people. It wouldn't be the first time. Right, you're looking interesting and you've got the right coloration. But you're not what I want on there. You're a rather intense looking bird, aren't you? Ooh, there's an owl there, and I really like the colours of that owl. This paper's beginning to lift up there. I wonder why. Maybe it's 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 slightly glossy. This book page. book page with the image on, I mean. Right, let's get our little friendly neighbourhood owl on here. I've done quite well, not decapitated a thing so far. Not my intent. Right, I think the owl will be level and the post will be on an angle. Right, let's put the lid on the glue because I need to do a bit of a flip through to make sure that everything is covered. We already know the back is done. That's done. That's done. That's got something. That's got something. So is that, 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 that. Right. Yes, I did the back as well. OK, so now I think, right, let me just clear. Give me a second, guys. I'm just going to pause you. Thank you for that. I was beginning to feel a little bit panicked because there was so much stuff wrapped around me that I didn't feel I could breathe anymore. So, now what I want to do is I'm going to pull out of here at random um, some of these definitions of mine. I'm not even going to choose what they are. I'm just going to literally put my hand in and pull one, one out and then look, see if there's something in here that needs it or wants it or can use it. Um, just going to do about five minutes of this and then I think we're going to do a final flip through and a wrap. And as I said, I'm going to need to um, trim some of these because I know that I cut them really quickly this morning when they came off the printer. So delving my hand in, let's pull out the first one. What's the first one say? Play, the ability to set aside, the ability to set childhood aside. Right, put something that's got green on it that I'd really... Actually, I don't mind that up there. I'll right, just give this a little bit of a trim. And I'd quite like to just round the corners. Now, 
Now, it could be not every one of these has something on it. And a little bit of attitude. Oops, drop, drop the sponge, Griffiths. And let's put this baby down. All right. And I think having the word play and a bat next to each other is slightly playful in my opinion. Right, let's pull another one out. Just give these a bit of a shuffle. And I don't want another green one. Let's just pull this one. Oh, we've got another green one. Right, journal. Write for yourself so that those who follow you, those who follow will know, know you. I don't mind that up there. And actually, I don't mind the size it is either. Let's just snip the corners. I don't know, the moment you round the corners on something that's been cut, it just makes it look more like a label and less like um, something that's just been cut into a rectangle. Ooh, need to do some of the edges. Now, I'm going to cover up this bit of a butterfly here. It doesn't bother me. That's just, I think... It enhances by covering it up and brings a focus down to the other butterfly. Is that level? Pretty much. Where's my smoothie thingy? Right, another bit of a shuffle. Okay, I keep pull pulling out green ones. Let's, what's this one? Memories, the ingredients of your life. That's a bit appropriate for me, isn't it? Having once been a chef. Well, let's cut this one down and put this with the frog. Or the toad, I can't remember what we decided it was in the end. Now, it is a pity I haven't had time to actually decorate the journal cards and the journal tags on the inside. But I think, giving the time we've actually had to do this, and my workload restraints, or constraints, should I call them, um, I'm quite happy with where we got to. Believe, the confidence to know that you can. Yeah, that's something I need to probably bear in mind a little more often than I do. That's one of my biggest problems is not believing that I can do it in the first place. And I think that's that's equally said of a lot of us. It's like artists and creators are bearing their souls to the world, basically, when they create art. And you're bearing your soul. And you make yourself vulnerable and there are heartless people out there who just want to rip you to pieces. You know, those same people can't even put a pen to paper. So let them do what they do and I will do what I do. Quite like that up there, that's nice. So, right, let's do another one. It's this blue one. Happiness, to enjoy a moment for its pure simplicity. I like that. Who wrote that? Oh, I did. So basically, I could, in my own little world, think of these as my own quotes, which is kind of why I'm using them in this journal. Because I, I just, it works for me, is what I'm trying to say. Um, let's find somewhere that goes. I thought there was a there was a picture of a bird that was blue in here somewhere. Where have you gone, Mr. Burson that's blue? There you are, that's where you're gonna go. And it's as if he's reading it himself. Right now I did see this needs something. 
So I think let's just pull one out and stick it down. What's this one say? Peace, the space betwixt achievement and sleep. Yeah, works for me. I don't know whether I get much betwixt, I can tell you. Most of my hours seem to be spent awake. But then that's why I'm going on vacation. I'm having a break. And no one begrudges me that. I know that for definite. I come back refreshed, inspired, and we'll start all new exciting projects. And I'm very happy because I've got an absolute list of projects to do. And other collaborations. Um, new products coming out. New designs to work with from other creators, which I'm very, very happy about. Right, I said this needed a something, didn't I? Right. I thought I had darker coloured ones in here somewhere. I do. Romance, a whirlwind of excitement and trepidation. That's not easily said with these teeth, I can tell you. Right. I don't know what, what the rook or the raven or the crow or the jackdaw or whatever it is has got to do with romance. But you know what? I think it's much maligned and I think I want to support it. Right. And I think that can go across there, which will link these two together. Bit of a lining up there. That feels finished, that feels finished. That's okay. I'd quite like to have had something there, but I think that might be some of these when I've actually written the quote, maybe I'll add extra embellishments to them that mirror what is in the quote. This definitely needs something. Wish an emotional cry seldom heard. Ooh, that sounds a bit ironic really, doesn't it? Let's stick that on there. These are feeling a bit addictive reading these. I'm like, hmm, what's the next one going to say? Uh, I'm not going to read a hundred of them. I can absolutely assure you of that, people. Right, so I think all of that back is now done. This is, I think that's done. That doesn't need anything. Right, we always said this needed something up here. So I'm going to dip into the archives over here. Right, what does this say? Moments, the reflection of who we truly are. I think I can live with that. It's nice actually to be using something I've created for a change because normally, as you know, I use labels a lot and I use Tracy Fox. I've had some from other makers as well. I've used washi tape stuff, but it's nice to actually have something that I've made. And I know that no one else has got unless you've actually bought the kit, but okay, that's done, that's done, that's done. I think he's okay without. This feels like it needs something there. What's this one? Joy. When satisfaction, contentment and peace align. Good grief, I could almost be a philosopher. I quite like this one because it's that dark, rich colour. Yeah, printing them onto um, just craft paper that I found these in a magazine. I mean, literally, because I didn't have any coloured craft paper. Surprise, I know, but I didn't. Um, so when I found these in the back of a magazine that I had on my, on my shelf, I went, oh, thank goodness for that. Because I was going to have to use them in white. And I went, I don't want to use white. And I can't even use my inks to colour them up because I've lent those to a friend of mine. Right, this needs something up there. What's this one at the top? Speak from facts and not from gossip. 
that's very appropriate, I feel. Some people are far too ready to open their mouths with their opinion when they've actually not heard all the facts. And I think we've probably all done that once or twice in our lives. I know I'm certainly not perfect. I like this because it'll bring the darker green across here. Where's the edge? There's the edge. I like leaving a bit of a space above it. So I'll go catch, is it? Maybe just over a smidgen. Um, I like leaving a little bit of a space above it, as I was saying. That's straight enough. That's okay. That's okay. That we said, right, this needed to, I think I want to go with that orangey red colour again. Alive, the thrill of the moment at hand. Do you know what these are feeling like? These are feeling a little bit like fortune cookie things that you get when you do a Chinese food. I like Chinese food. Um, I've eaten lots of different cuisine in my life. And I know the Chinese food I'm eating here in the UK is probably quite a million miles away from traditional Chinese food. But it's what I'm used to here. Um, I did work for three months in Japan at one point when I was a lot younger. I was on a contract out there. And I tell you what, Japanese food was very different than I expected it to be. So I was introduced to sake too. I didn't know you actually drank sake in pot. I, I was, that was a bit of a shock to me. Right, I think that's done. That's done. Does this need something? So I'll pull this down so you can see it. That may need a light something. What's... What's this one? Touch. A natural moment when two souls consent. I think that's okay. Let's put that up there. It's, it's the right, right coloration for me. And I think we may nearly be done. Because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Finish filming this, get get the front stuck on the cover and then start editing and hopefully I can get this uploaded to YouTube. Big thank you to Darcy Sanders for the inspiration for this. Um, Darcy, I don't know whether you realise what you've started. There are now so many people doing this. Um, look for the hashtag in my description box below. I think it says hashtag mixed media envelope journal i think that's what it is but check that out and then put that into a search and see how many other people have done it so let's do our flip through tags take the whole lot um and i must admit while i was getting ready to film this section i did add one or two more definitions in i was finding them really addictive guys sorry but you'll see them so opening up these this is my what i would call the book fold I'm really loving that. I like the blues opposite the blues. So let's start with this side first of all. So you've seen me decorate that. You've seen me decorate that. I think I added that after off screen. This is where the tag is. I don't mind there's nothing on these because I love that as it is. Once something goes on to there, then maybe I'll put something appropriate there because I think I might be tempted to put verses of poetry on, on the ones I put in here. Um, again, an owl. We know I love owls. Um, obviously, places here to write the quotes and stuff. In here, let's pull this down so you can see it. In here is this big old journal card. Not sure what's going to go on there, um, but I love this anyway. I just love that because they're painted papers. Most of them are made with my own designs as well. Why are you going in there? You did two minutes ago. Right, um, and then this is decorated up. Did we see that? We did see that, right? So then there's that. Then I've got the piece here from Darcy with with her card in here. So I know that's always from Darcy. I put another journal card in here. This is made out of my arty labels. That will actually get written on. 
I mean, if it's a psalm or a poem, I don't know why I keep saying psalm. If it's a song lyric or if it's um, a poem or something, I could just print it out and put it on there. But I'm going to try and handwrite everything. Um, again, love, love dragonflies here. It could be I put a water lily there or something. I like the fact that all of this page complemented itself. Love that. And then there's a little tag in here because I need something to pull out with. Again, just a beautiful journal card. Love the vibrancy. I did say I wanted this to be a celebration of colour. And that's definitely what I think I've achieved. Um, again, we even got Mr. Bat in there. There you go. Um, another page here. Three little quotes on there. Another journal card. Let's just stick that back in there. Then we come to this. So this would normally be there. So when you open this up, that's what you'll see. This is what you'll see. This is where I'm going to sign and date it, which I'll do once everything's dry. I don't want to write on something, maybe have wet ink underneath it. This comes down and then in here is another little hidden journal card. There. Let's flip that up. I'm getting used to doing this now, so I kind of have the technique of folding this. So let's go to the other side. So here we've got a journal tag this time instead of a journal card. Back to the other walls. This I felt didn't need a definition on it. I just, I quite like that plane. Not everything needed. Oh, actually that didn't have a definition either. So there you go. Both of those don't have definitions. That one does. This is the side pocket. Let's look at that now. So we've got Mr. Frog here. Mr. Badger here. We've got a little journal card that'll just slip into there. Hopefully you can see that. You can see that at the top of the screen. And in you go. You, what are you catching on? You've been going in and out of there perfectly all this time. There you go. Now, in the side here is actually a tall journal tag. And as you can see, why would I decorate that? That was just from my masterboard make, so I was happy to leave that there. And this colour green seems to have a theme all the way through. And as you can see, that's why I chose this as the front topper, because it's the same design as that. That goes in there, that goes there. Again, there you go, there's a goat. As I said, I'm a Capricorn, so that could represent me, I suppose. Uh, we've got another one in here which is another one of those. I'm loving this. This is one of my, I really did enjoy doing that masterboard with painty papers. I might be tempted to do that again at some point. Right, you can slide in there. That all ties together there. We've got another one here. And that was a pre-made, that, that was actually just an, as it came out of the masterboard again. I don't need to decorate that. That's looking fine to me. Come on, you. Open up. I think my hands are tired this morning. Then that's what that looked like. I liked bringing a touch of the gold in. And then we've got this one, which is pretty much, this kind of represents my mother and, and my garden and endure. Tough times will always end. They do. You just need to trust, 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 which isn't easily done. Right. Um, yes, that does go there, there, that folds into there. Right, we did have this on the back, which is fine, long piece of writing. Coming to a close, then we have this on the back. Another big journal card in here. There's lots and lots of space in here. I can't, I cannot imagine how, how much journaling you'd be able to do in this, if it was a journal. So, where is a journal, what was I saying? If it was a writing journal. So again, there's that. There was this big tag. Again, that was just the masterboard cut up. I've not decorated that in any way other shape and form than that. Slips in there. Then we've got this, which is just another piece. And I slipped the last piece of that in there. And we're done, guys. Well, that needs sticking down. I must have caught it on something. So thank you for your endurance. As you know, I don't normally um, launch a series in separate videos. I normally do it um, in one big hit. But to be honest with you, I just didn't have the time to do that. Um, why aren't you closing? There you go. What are you catching on? Oh, it's because I've got that bent over there. That's why. Um, 
So please forgive me, I just had to do it in this manner for once. But normally all series from me will be done the way I normally do them. So I was loving that. Thank you very much for your patience, your tolerance, your understanding. Darcy, thank you so much for the inspiration. Yeah, it was a tough one, this one. But you know, I'm glad I did it because now I know I can do it. So I'm Kerry the Crafter. That's C-E-R-I the Crafter. Until next time, goodbye now.